The world's biggest street dance competition, the Red Bull Dance Your Style, is heading to South Africa on the 4th of December this year. The brand has searched for the best street dance in all parts of Mzansi to find the dancer that will represent the country on this global stage. On the 24th of October, the Castle of Good Hope in Cape Town was filled with cheer when Shannon Shani J. Kivido from Boxburg was crowned South Africa's best street dancer. Kivido joins us now this morning to tell us more about how she plans to win this global global street dance competition accolade. Shani, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you for having me. <laughs> First of all, Shani, congratulations on the big win. I mean, how do you feel about this title, especially because you are the first female in South Africa to win it? It's surreal. It's, it's such a weird feeling because we, as females dance, well, female dancers, we fight to be in spaces like this. So it, it really is an amazing feeling. I feel blessed. Um, and also because we know that we have a lot of strong female dancers. Mm. And me being the first to win such a big competition, it's such a blessing. So, yeah, it's really amazing. And you're appointed as a wild card into the national final top 16, isn't it? Speak to us about that and about what that entails and the other finalists' entry categories were. So, um, being a wild card for Red Bull Dance Your Style means that I went straight to the finals, which, um, well, the, 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 the national finals in terms of skipping the top 25 and then going straight into the top 16. Okay. So, um, yeah, so that's what it means. And it really such a, it was such a, a shock because I was like, oh, me. <laughs> um, and the other, the competitors that I had was, they were, they were brilliant dancers. They were from different types of genres. They had different calibers within the dance. So it was, it was such a beautiful, beautiful experience having to dance against them. And they were, they showed up and they really just did their best, which was beautiful to see. Well, this competition incorporates all dance styles and you specialize in working. Uh, how would you describe that style of dance and, uh, and, and the signature elements that propelled you to uh, this major win? So, um, whacking is a very explosive style. It mm -hmm. is rotation of the arms, it's dramatic. Um, so one of the main points of whacking is that you don't only then make the audience hear the music, but you make them see it. So you'll catch different beats, you showcase those, you make them feel some type of way about the music, um, as well as the outfit. So I had different outfit change, and that's part of the whacking and bow culture, is that you get into different characters, you get into different outfits, you shake it case all of that type of thing so um i didn't expect to win i went in just dancing and having fun and just putting on a show and what propelled me to win was i was just literally being myself and i was just enjoying every minute as it was every battle as it came so yeah there are a whole lot of great elements in this kind of competition shani especially when it comes to the voting process so what gave you the upper hand in pulling in those votes so what gave me that the hand of winning Red Bull Dance Your Style was the fact that I was myself. Um, a lot of people can, a lot of people draw close to you when they can see that you're not trying to be mm. the next per or the next competitor. It's that you simply just, like I said, enjoying a moment. Um, I think for me, I I saw that the crowd was was really, it was something different to them with my outfit changes. And for me, it was like a norm, like, okay, cool, this is what I do in my battle. This is what I do when I'm at Vogue Nights or, you know, and when I did this there, I was like, okay, they take, they've taken a liking to it. Um, that gave me the upper hand at first. And then when I just started dancing, I shut out everyone while I was battling. And I, it was just me and my opponent on the, on the floor. And yeah, so for me, um, that was that what drew the attention from all the crowd at Ripple Dance Style. We are now weeks away from having 28 country winners around the world heading to South Africa for the world final. How are you preparing for this big stage? Uh, funny enough, I actually am. Uh, so I'm a dancer, professional dancer. I perform as, a, as my career. So I've been taking that as my training because I actually got booked before Ripple Dance Style. So a lot of the performance factors from my shows, I've been taking advantage of it. So I've been in rehearsals, performing every routine as best of my ability. And then on the side, when I'm free or when I have time during my rehearsals, I train as much as I can. I have mm. great support system. Um, I have 
actual dancers like South African dancers helping me reach my goals. I've had uh, one or two international dancers off- offering help as well. So my preparation is trying not to, well, not limiting myself and just yes. having everyone, you know, ha- play their part as well and helping me. And I really appreciate that. So yeah, that's that's mostly my preparation for, for the finals. Right. And what would you point out as some of the highlights of your dance career? The highlights of my dance career. There's so many. <laughs> uh-huh. There is so many. I don't even know where to start. But first, first, it well, the the biggest right now is obviously Rainbow Dance Style because it's such a beautiful platform. It's so big. Um, I've achieved other things as well as dancing for artists and being on different stages, touring. I've been traveling around the world. So, but at the moment, Rainbow Dance Style is probably the biggest highlight at the moment. And yeah. Now, Shani, what is dance according to you? And what makes it worth waking up for every morning? It is a way of life. Um, a lot of people, it, it means so, so many different things to people. But I, if I don't dance, I, I'd go into this weird space where it's like, what am I doing with my life? Dance has not only just been dance. It has opened up so many different opportunities for us as dancers. It has grown us as people mentally physically spiritually it has done so much for us so dancing for me is everything it's literally putting food on my table it's literally helping um the next person it's helping myself it's getting to a place where if if um if i'm in a difficult situation i can literally get out of it because i've been so used to problem solving and dance alone in different aspects of it that it actually became a way of life for me that i i don't see myself elsewhere and if i do it has to incorporate dance and shani i know that uh, dancing you know in as much as you guys are having fun but it takes a great deal of physical strength i mean I'm, i've been going through some of the uh, dance videos here i see courtney paul who's one of the winners in the previous competitions then we've heard her uh, on, on on this show several times it does take a great deal of physical fitness doesn't it it does it really does um you are constantly pushing your body to the to the extreme and not just as battlers, but like as performers. I literally have been running from one show to the next. Um, and this has been happening for years and dancers know, know how they push their bodies as well. Mm. You are um, constantly training for the next competition. You're constantly training for the next show. So you put your body under a lot of pressure. And I actually took it up for myself. Um, a lot of dancers as well. We have taken up a lot of fitness um, strategies in how we use our dance style, but it, it, is, it is, most of your dancing is also uh, health, protecting yourself from injuries. You're very prone to injuries, um, to a lot of injuries. So we always find ways to help ourselves not to get injured uh, as well as keeping fit in the, same, in the same breath. So it is a very difficult thing, difficult sport to do, difficult art form to do. So yeah, we, we try our level best to, to keep up with our bodies and our minds. What's your understanding of what the judges are looking for or what, uh, you know, you're being judged upon? In terms of Ripple Dance Your Style? Yeah. Um, in terms of that, it's a crowd performance um, competition. So as much as you have your style and you, you stay true to your style, you have to stay true to your style. However, you need to understand that there is a crowd. For okay. me, my, what helped me was that the fact that I do shows, so there's a lot of performance factors. You have to constant, constantly capture them and keep them. The minute you lose the crowd and their attention, it's the minute you lose. And that's, and that's mm, not like mm. every other competition. We have actual like, judges in the competition and choose living via technology, but this is more choosing via performance basis. Okay, so basically you need to establish that rapport uh, with the crowd, hey? Yes. Okay. Remind us again of when the competition is, Shani. So Ripple Dancer Style is taking place in December and it is the world final. So you guys have to stay tuned, check out the Ripple Dancer Style handle and yes, just stay tuned to everything that they've been posting. All right, all the best, Shani. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you. Great, great stuff. That was a uh, winner of uh, Red Bull Dance Your Style, South Africa, Shannon Shani J. Kivido, speaking to us about her win. The Red Bull Dance Your Style World Final Stage on Saturday, the 4th of December at Monte Cassino in Johannesburg.